Welcome back. We are now joined by the Director of Communications and External Affairs of the California Earthquake Authority, Chris Nance. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. I am tickled pink that you're here because I am not prepared at all. I mean, I know I should be. I've heard the statistics. I know it's inevitable. But as far as my home and my car, I don't have a safety plan. I don't have bottled water. I, I have nothing. Tell me, scold me, tell me, make me, tell me something that will make me run out and do it, because I have. Well, first of all, shame on you. <laughs> I was being uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not unlike most people in California, and uh, that's why we're here to talk about this today. Most people in California aren't prepared for earthquakes, despite the fact that we have them occurring literally every day, everywhere in California. Why is that? I mean, we're inundated with it on the news. You always hear about a slight tremor here. There was one just a couple days ago outside of Livermore. I think it was a 3.3. We hear it all the time. It's in the newspaper. Are we just thinking it'll never happen to us? Is that what we're doing? That's exactly right. Uh, well, they're so infrequent for most people. Uh -huh that they, uh, they have in mind other priorities they need to get to that day. Though most people will say preparing for an earthquake is a priority, like you've done. Yeah, but I, you have other priorities. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it yet. So if I were yeah. to prepare, what does, I, what does one need in their home, in their car? People always say you should have a certain amount of cash on you. What are some of the things you need? Well, there are three stages to have in mind when planning for an earthquake. Okay. What to do before, during and after. Before, Pretty simple, right? During, you just hold on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so before an earthquake, a uh, couple of things, real simple. Mm -hmm. One, have a plan for your family. Okay. So if you uh, have friends, family with whom you want to, to get together after something terrible like an earthquake happens, have a place to meet. Mm -hmm. uh, how many people have that figured out? You know, we need to be asking ourselves these questions. Secondly, people need to be prepared for um, being isolated, if you will, for several days after an earthquake. The government's going to do everything they can, but they're limited, and uh, depending upon the extent of damage for an earthquake, it may take several days or before. more before you're able to get anywhere or do anything, before you have power, before you have police protection, all those things. So you literally need to be able to sustain yourself and protect yourself. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. scary. Yeah. Okay, so I got my plan, I got my meeting place, and now I have things to sustain me. So I know they always say bottled water, I guess canned food and things like that. That's right. Anything else? Yeah, most people have these things in their homes already. Uh, the, it's important to set them aside someplace that you can get to. Easily. Right. And what about right. the radio? I've heard that sometimes they have those radios that you can crank. I actually have one. It's in a box somewhere. I don't have it anywhere <laughs> visible. But those are supposed to be good. You get right. emergency alerts and things That's like right. that. That's right. To know what's going on, who, what's happening where throughout uh -huh. your community. Okay. The radios are helpful. So that's before. During. I was During. joking before by holding on, but I guess you just brace yourself. Well, what you said is exactly what you need to do, but not without first dropping down, ducking under a table, just like this one here, okay. and holding on. It's not the earthquake that kills people, it's the stuff that's flying. That's moving all around. That kills people. So in an area like this with things hanging from the ceiling, you want to be beneath a table wow. in case some of this stuff falls from the ceiling. So drop, cover, and hold on. Yeah. It's not about the triangle of life, and it's not about a door frame. Rather, it's about getting under a table and holding on because everything's shaking so you're going to want to hold on to that table in case it's moving across the, the floor. Wow. And I need to talk about uh, what's coming up here in a couple of weeks called the Great California Shakeout. Okay. On October 21st at 1021 a.m. statewide Californians are going to practice dropping, covering, and holding on during what's called the Great California Shakeout. It's the second annual such okay. exercise. So it's just like the real thing. You're supposed it's to just act like as if the, it's real, the thing. real thing. Practice. And uh, register to practice at www.shakeout.org. Okay. Millions of people already are signed up, whether well, you're good. in a school or in a business uh -huh. or at home. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, so practice. We had the great shakeout going on before, during. Now let's focus on after. You've made it, you've hung on. All of a sudden you get up and you realize the damage is immense. That's is that right. is that where you stay stay put because you don't know what other tremors are going to happen or is there a, a necessary certain thing you're supposed to do after an earthquake? Well, a couple of things. One, um, wait 
wait till the shaking stops. <laughs> Assess the damage <laughs> around you. If there are things that appear to be ready to fall off a shelf, uh, be careful about that. Okay. But also, uh, so far as a recovery is concerned, uh, things to consider like earthquake insurance, for example, are important too. Now you told me how many the percentage of Californians that do not have earthquake insurance. Only 12 percent of California residents have earthquake insurance. Now, and in, in the Bay Area, it, it's in some areas less than 12%. So I have a question. I get earthquake insurance. Does that really cover me? Because you know these insurance plans, they got all, all these loopholes. Well, it, like say for example, I'm home, all, everything's destroyed, devastated. Is my earthquake insurance really going to cover me? Well, that's a great question <laughs> and it's important to, to clarify what's covered and what's not. Yeah. This uh, earthquake insurance is not constructed like an auto policy, for example. Mm -hmm. You get a door ding, you can file a claim. Okay. Rather, it's constructed for the house that's rocked off the foundation. Mm. So if you have tens of thousands of dollars of damage or more, if your house is totaled, mm -hmm. uh, then you're going to look to some place to find a significant amount of money to repair or rebuild that home and it's in instances like that where earthquake insurance is invaluable. Okay, um, let's talk about money. How much money should you have on hand? Should you have like a secret stash just in case of emergencies? Well, ATM machines likely will, will be, be out. down. Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, and if you're in a, in a supermarket seeking to buy groceries, they're not likely going to have a register that's working, mm -hmm. so your Visa card's not going to work, so you need to have cash. So you need to base that amount on who you have around you who will be depending on you. Okay, so let's not forget, <laughs> quickly, our last question. Pets. What do I do with my pets? I love my pet. Well, I have a pet, too, and uh, we keep him on a dog run outside the house uh -huh. in case something bad happens to the house, but have your pet chipped and uh, have extra food in the house Provisions. where you can reach it just like you would for the other members of your family. Okay, good. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, you're quite welcome. I'm going to do a better job. I'm going to get my things together because you never know. That's right. Yeah. For That's more right. information, you can log on to EarthquakeAuthority.com. Thanks for watching and remember to lo uh, like us on Facebook and to follow us on Twitter. Have a great week. See you. Bye. Okay, I'm going to do my homework. I have